So today we're going to talk about surface tension and also talk about one particular application of surface tension in a dimensionless number term, the capillary number. So if you think about surface tension, it happens at the interface between two fluids, a liquid and a gas, or two immiscible liquids. The surface tension, which we can denote here as gamma, is the energy required to increase the surface area a specified amount. Thinking about the units of surface tension, energy is in joules, and area can be considered as its meter squared. And we can see that the units in SI units can be given in newtons per meter, since a joule is defined as a newton times meter. So one particular application of surface area is a dimensionless number termed the capillary number. The capillary number is defined as mu V over gamma, where mu is the viscosity of the fluid, V is the velocity, and gamma is the surface tension. The capillary number gives us a ratio between the viscous forces and the surface tension. The viscous forces will seek to deform the area, and the surface tensions will be important because it seeks to minimize the surface area between the two interfaces. One particular example where the capillary number becomes important is the case of an oil drop in water. And for this case, we define the capillary number with a slight difference, where instead of velocity, you can see here we have A times gamma, and in this case, A is the drop radius, and this gamma dot is the shear rate, or how strong the flow is. Looking at one particular example, we see here we have an oil droplet, and we take the viscosity of water at 20 degrees Celsius, as 1 times 10 to negative 3 pascal seconds. We have a drop radius of 1 millimeter, a shear rate of 1 inverse second, and an average surface tension between the oil and water of about 0 0.03 newtons per meter. We'll see what the resulting capillary number is. So putting all these numbers into the equation, we see that all of the dimensions cancel out since a pascal is defined as newtons per meter squared. Putting all these numbers in, we get a capillary number of 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Since it's a small capillary number, it means that the surface tension effects are stronger than the viscous effects, which means that this drop is going to want to remain spherical and is going to resist being deformed. Now we're going to watch a couple of simulations as an illustration of the capillary number. You can see here we have an oil droplet we can imagine this oil drop being deep underground in an oil reservoir immersed in water. And in this simulation, we're going to see if it can fit through this construction, this three-sphere construction you see here. Now, in a practical application, this is important because if you have an oil well and you're going to try to flush this oil out with water, then we want to know how this drop is going to behave being driven through this porous medium and see if it can fit through the constrictions. So in this case, we have a, uh, this three-sphere construction, and we'll see if this oil droplet will fit through it. And we can see that this oil droplet does fit through the constriction. This means that the capillary number was great enough that the surface tension effects were as important, and the droplet was able to deform and squeeze through the constriction. Now in this next simulation, we have changed the capillary number to a much lower capillary number to see if it will now fit through the constriction. Now watching this video, we can see that it does not go through the constriction and it gets trapped um, in the constriction, meaning that the surface tension effects are so great that it, it's not going to be able to deform enough to fit through this constriction. And in other words, it has a very low capillary number. 